It's one of the most auspicious days for us. We are observing Swami Vivekananda's birthday. Swamiji was born in 1863 and he attained Maha Samadhi in 1902. Within this short period, he revolutionized the whole world by his most wonderful message of Upanishads, Vedanta. <coughs> Swami Vivekananda has given us most inspiring teachings in his talks and lectures and discourses. Actually, all his uh, teachings are pearls of wisdom. Each soul is potentially divine. The goal is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature, external and internal. Do this either by work or worship or psychic control or philosophy. By one or more or all of these and be free. Condemn none. If you can stretch out a helping hand, do so. If you cannot, fold your hands, bless your brothers and let them go their own way. You cannot believe in God until you believe in yourself. When we really begin to live in the world, then we understand what is meant by brotherhood or mankind and not before. The world is a great gymnasium where we come to make ourselves strong. Feel like Christ and you will be a Christ. Feel like Buddha and you will be a Buddha. It is feeling that is the life, the strength, the vitality, without which no amount of intellectual activity can reach God. The will is not free. It is a phenomenon bound by cause and effect. But there is something behind the will which is free. The more we come out and do good to others, the more our hearts will be purified and God will be in them. There is nothing beyond God and the sense enjoyments are simply something through which we are passing now in the hope of getting things. You know, I may have to be born again, you see, I have fallen in love with mankind. It is good to love God for hope of reward, but it is better to love God for love's sake. And the prayer goes, O Lord, I do not want wealth, nor children, nor learning. If it be thy will, I shall go from birth to birth. But grant me this, that I may love thee without the hope of reward. Love unselfishly for love's sake. My nature is love him. And therefore I, I, therefore I love. I do not pray for anything. I do not ask for anything. Let him place me wherever he likes. I must love him for love's sake. I can't trade in love. How to worship him? Through love. He is to be worshipped as the one beloved near, as the one beloved dear than everything in this and the next life. The Lord is great. He will not allow me to become my hypocrite. Now let what is in come out god of truth be thou alone my guide god is the ever active providence by whose power systems after systems are being evolved out of chaos made to run for a time and again destroyed why should a man be miserable even here in the reign of a just and merciful god god is to be worshiped as the one beloved dearer than everything in this and next life. As the different streams having their sources in different paths which men take through different tendencies, various though they appear, crooked or straight, all lead to thee. Through prayer, the love of God grows and assumes a form which is called supreme devotion. Forms vanish, rituals fly away, Books are superseded, images, temples, churches, religions and sects, countries and nationalities, all these little limitations and bondages fall off by their own nature from him who knows this love of God. To worship God even for the sake of salvation or any other reward is equally degenerate. Love knows no reward. Give your love unto God but do not ask anything in return, even from him, through prayer. Prayer is divine love alone. When this highest ideal of love is reached, philosophy is thrown away. Who will then care for it? Freedom, salvation, nirvana, all are thrown away. Who cares to become free while in the enjoyment of divine love? We find Jesus of Nazareth in the first place. The true son of Orient, intensely practical. He has no faith in this evanescent world and all its belongings. 
no need of text torturing as is the fashion in the west in modern times no need of stretching out texts until they will not stretch any more each soul is potentially divine the goal is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature external and internal do this either by work or worship or psychic control or philosophy by one or more of all by one or more all of this and be free this is whole of religion we see that the apparent contradictions and perplexities in every religion mark but different stages of growth the end of all religions is the realizing of god in the soul that is the one universal religion by the study of different religions we find that in essence they are one a man may be the greatest philosopher in the world but a child in religion when a man has developed a high state of spirituality he can understand that the kingdom of heaven is within him so we shall offer our most humble salutations to swami vivekanand the incarnation of lord shiva the master of renunciation who dedicated his whole life for the service of humanity let us offer our salutations to him let us pray to him to lead us from unreal to real from the darkness of ignorance to the light of knowledge from death to immortality peace 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 be unto all now the puja will begin जय भगवान श्री राम कृष्ण देव की जय जय श्री महामाई की जय जय श्री स्वामी जी महाराज जी की जय जय श्री स्वामी ब्रह्मान जी महाराज जी की जय जय श्री सर्वनंदन की जय जय श्री गंगा माई की जय